Hello, my name is Jimmy from Intellicat Tuition School and once again, welcome to my series of revision lectures and today I'll be going through Sequence and Series Part 2 which is covering arithmetic progression and geometric progression right? So first of all, what is arithmetic progression? In short term, it's set for AP and geometric progression, the short form we stand for GP. Right? And so what is arithmetic progression? Let's give you an example. 1, 3, 5, 7, etc. This is an example of arithmetic progression. Okay, how do we tell? Very simple. You can see that from 1 to 3 there's a common difference of 2, and from 3 to 5 there's a common difference of 2, and 5 to 7 there's a common difference of 2. Alright, so you should be able to guess on the next term, right? It'll be 9, 11, 13, etc, etc, etc. Okay, so this example of AP, there's a common difference between the numbers. Okay, and so we come to the first formula, which is an n term, which is Tn equals to A plus n minus 1 d. Alright, this stands for the n term. A stands for the first term and D stands for the common difference. Okay, I repeat again, T N stands for the n term, A stands for the first term, in this case is 1, and D stands for the common difference, in this case the common difference is 2. Alright, and so let's find the n term for this AP. We just submit it inside. So Tn equals to my a is 1. Okay, plus n minus 1 and my d is 2. Alright, and so I'll get 1 plus 2n minus 2. Expand this one out. If you simplify further, so you'll get 2n minus 1. This is the n term. Okay, so what do we mean by n term? n term is a general form for every term in the AP. Alright, it's the general form for every term in the AP. Say for example, I want to find the second term. So I sub n equals to 2. So 2 times 2 gives you 4. 4 minus 1 will give you 3. Can you see this is the second term? This is the first term. This is the second term. This is the third term. And this is the fourth term. Alright, so if I want to find a second term, I repeat again. Second term, I sum in n equals to 2. 2 times 2 gives you 4. Minus 1 equals to 3. If I want to find a fourth term, I sum n equals to 4. So 2 times 4 gives you 8. 8 minus 1 gives you 7. So 7 is the fourth term. So what happens if I want to find the hundredth term? Very simple. You just sum n equals to 100. So you will get 2 times 100. 200 minus 1 is 199. That means when n equals to 100, Alright, I will get 199. 199 is the 100th term. Alright, so this is the first formula that you need to be familiar with, which is called the n term. Okay, the second formula is also very important, which is the sum of the first n term. Okay, what is the sum of the first n term? Means I take this plus this plus this plus this plus all the way until the n term. Alright, which is given by this formula Sn equals to n over 2 2a plus n minus 1 d okay sn stands for the sum of first n terms okay in other words if it's s5 i'll be finding the sum of the first five terms if it's S10, then I'll be finding the sum of the first 10 terms. Okay? So let's start inside the form the, the, the terms. So n over 2 will be there. My a is 1, right? Here we call. My a is 1. So 2 times 1 plus n minus 1 and my d is 2. Okay? So if you simplify further, you'll get n over 2, uh, 2n. 2n minus 2 plus 2, so you get 2n. And so the 2 cancel away, right? You get n squared. Alright? So my sum of first n term is actually n squared. Okay, let's double check. 
what is my S1? S1, you put one inside, right? You get one square equals to one, right? So, isn't it the first term? What is my S2? S2 is some of the first two terms. So, I put in two inside, I'll get two square, which is equal to four. Correct? Check for yourself. One plus three does give you four? You tell me, right? What is S3? S3 is equal to three square, right? Will be equal to nine. So let's try yourself. 1 plus 3 give you 4. 4 plus 5 give you 9. So you understand now? So this is what we mean by the SN is sum of the first n terms. Okay? And of course, the next up we have the GP. Right? These are two formulas for AP. Example of GP will be something like uh, example 1, comma, 2, 4, 8. 16. Okay? So what's the difference? The difference is now instead of plus 2u times 2, right? Times 2, times 2, times 2, right? Etc. Okay, so remember AP is plus or minus, it can be minus also, and GP is either times or divide. Alright? And the first formula for the n term will be Tn equals to A. R n minus 1. Okay? A stands for the same thing, the same for the first term. And R stands for the common ratio. Okay, in this case the common ratio is 2. Okay? And so what we get? A is 1, your common ratio is 2, and n minus 1 will be there, right? So your n term is 2 to the power of n minus 1. Okay, so let's say I want to find a third term. I sum in 3. So 3 minus 1 gives you 2. So 2 squared gives you 4. Right? This is n equals to 1, n equals to 2, n equals to 3. Okay, so if I want to find a third term, I just sum n equals to 3. So I'll get 4, which is a third term. Okay, so this is a formula for the n term. Can you please remember? n term equals to a open bracket common ratio to the power of n minus 1. And the second formula, which is the sum of the first n term for GP, Sn, is given by this formula a bracket r to the power of n minus 1 over r to the minus 1. Okay? Or the second formula, which is actually the same. Alright? is a bracket 1 minus r power n over 1 minus r Okay, there are two formula. Basically they are same, if you take a this right, this one times minus you will get this one, this one times minus you get this one. So these two are actually the same. But why do we have these two formula? Because this one is usually used for when r is more than 1. Alright, so it prevents negative sign of occurring. Let's say your r is 2 in this case, right? Your common ratio is 2. My r is 2, so I use this one. Alright? And this one is used for when the r is less than 1. Alright? Okay? This is r more than 1, and this is r is less than 1. Okay, so let's find the sum of the first term for this one. You'll get sn equals to my a is 1. Right? My first term is 1. And my core ratio is 2. Okay? And so what do I get? I'll get 2 to the power of n minus 1. Alright? So once again, let's check. What's my S2? S2 is some of the first two terms, right? S2 will be 2 to the power of 2 minus 1. So 4 minus 1 gives you 3. Alright? So 1 plus 2 does give you 3? It tallies, right? Okay, so this is the sum of the first n terms. Alright, so in conclusion, AP, this is the sum of the n term, this is the sum of the first n term, and for GP, this is the sum of the, this is the n term, and this is the sum of the first n term. Alright? There are actually some common formula that both of them share. 
which uh, is for both EP and GP, alright, which is this one, term n is equals to S n minus S n minus 1, alright, this is quite an important formula that may be used in some of the questions in the practice exercises, alright, the term n is equals to sum of the first n term minus the sum of the first n minus 1 term, okay, let me illustrate to you. Okay, so all these stand for the terms, right? I use balls with that yeah? n equals to 1, n equals to 2, this n equals to n minus 1, this n equals to n, right? So I want to find the term n, right? This term is equals to the sum of everything here minus the sum of everything here, right? Can you see? Sum of here minus from here to here all together, n term. Okay, so basically I will just summarize what you need to know for AP and GP and these are some of the important formula that we need to apply in each chapter. Of course, uh, in our center, in, in, actually at Italian Education School, what we do is I will actually summarize all the questions into different type of questions that uses these formulas and we actually help our students to master the questions by practicing you know, these formulas again and again. So once again, my name is Jimmy. I'm currently a math tutor for GC H1 and H2 Math Unit Center. And if you have any question, do drop by our website below. You can see our description. And I hope you and I hope to see you in my class one day. Thank you.